And in today's video, we are building the double door to the Cray Library because we are getting lovebirds and we can't really have them and go in and out without a double door that is too dangerous for letting them out. But I'm carrying some of the wood here and I am going to be taking it over to the aviary where we are going to be building this double door. I'll just place the wood here. But this is the platform, you just need to clean it off as the chickens and stuff have been putting dirt on it. But this is the platform where the double door is going to be built on. We have got the main structure out, got the little box shape, it is looking awesome. So that's how big it's going to be, it's going to be a big door here, walking into the double door. That's where we'll have all the food stored in the back there. Then the pheasant aviary door here, going into the massive aviary. Okay, so taking a break from the lovebird aviary, we are building the double door, as you know. But right now, we have got two turquoisines. We have a male green turquoisine and a female yellow turquoisine, so they're going to be very beautiful. They're young ones from this season, so they will have babies next season from the same person, but unrelated because we don't want any inbreeding. These will be the only two turquoisines that will be going to this aviary, so there's no overcrowding and stuff. But these guys' names, the male green one is Baljeet, and the yellow female is Wadjet. Let's let them in. So hopefully I'll be able to show you them as I open the box before they go flying crazy. If you want to see them in the box here. They are absolutely beautiful, very small, but let's let them come out on their own time. So, Baljeet and Wadjet have been doing very well. They're on the ground right now, eating seed together. They are loving it. None of the other birds have been bothering them. And Kabichi has been in that nest over there, as you can see Banjo feeding her. She has laid six eggs, and today, one of them hatched. So. When they are two or three weeks old, we'll bring them inside to hand raise them as well. But hopefully, Kabichi being a first mother does well in that. But hopefully next season, these guys have babies for us to hand raise as well, as that will be super exciting. So, I have got the two doors built. As you can see right here, up against the aviary. Got to attach them to the frame of the double door. But Mrs. Galar is at work all day today. She won't be getting home until tonight, so I've got to do this all by myself. But hopefully I can get the double door done today so that by the time she gets home, we can add the lovebirds. That is one perfect fit. I have something on the bottom just to raise it up slightly so that it's not touching the bottom. So, all three hinges are in, and it looks amazing. Just got to take off that bottom support and see how well that swings open. Still got to add hinge and lock, but that swings open so beautifully. It is absolutely amazing. Nice and smooth. Bounces. Look at that. Now, just get that handle and lock on and should be sweet. And it is a hot day, so got all the chickens and Tito having little dirt baths and scratching around for bugs absolutely everywhere. The quail aviary is growing in so nicely. You can see all of these straw flowers, they, they feel like literal straw dry out, and if you cut them off, they will never die, so they are awesome. And look how many there are of different colors, awesome. All the marigolds bushed up, flowered nicely and the first lupin is coming up a nice purple one but the doors are looking nice this one works like a treat opens up there walk in to this second door i've just finished installing it's not the best as this was on an angle but it works got the lock there on the inside because we're going into this aviary so don't want to put it on the outside, otherwise you can't really get in. Now I just need to add the handles and finish off the meshing along the back and 
the roof. The last bit of wood I need to cut is finished cutting. So let's see how well it fits. It is going to go across here as a little support. So let's see here. That is perfect. What a perfect fit. Let's get this attached and then start meshing. I have got all of the mesh up the back, just got to add a few more staples to add secureness to it, but got it on those back two panels. Now we are pretty much almost done, ready to add the birds into here. So we finally finished the double door over there, it is looking awesome, but we got the three lovebirds that are going to be the starter lovebirds in here, they are beautiful. As you can see, that blue one up the front, its name is Ripple. The multicolored one is Petal and the green one is Cute. So they are adorable and let's add them into the aviary. Time to open these guys up and let them out. Hopefully they don't freak out too much as there's a lot of perches in here so that's good. There they go. One more and they are all in. Okay, they've had the afternoon to settle in and they are settling quite nicely. They've never been used to people coming up to them as the aviary they were in weren't, wasn't designed for that. So they are getting more used to us and settling in with the perch and stuff. And we just added this hanging thing for the food, which hopefully they go to and eat. They will check that out soon, hopefully, as well as we added a little silver dish of water back there. But if they wanted to, they could always go down to the, the quail's water. They're having a drink, loving it. But yeah, hopefully they get very nice and used to us and hopefully maybe in the future eat out of our hands. That would be awesome. It is feeding time for all the birds, giving the quails some tomato, corn and cucumber as that's their favorite and a nice ring of apple. They absolutely love that. Got a couple beans too. <laughs> Sarufi's run off with the corn, but they will shred that in like 10 minutes. We'll be gone. But we also got some nice veggies and chop vegetables for the lovebirds. So we're gonna add that in there. They'll enjoy that chop. Hopefully they will find that and absolutely shred it. Bunch of nice vegetables in there for them. And we got a whole piece of apple and carrot to stick on some branches for them, just in case they prefer to shred that. We've only just added the fruits in. Mrs. Galar is only just leaving. And look at the cucumber and stuff, they've absolutely demolished it. Lovebirds have settled in their first night extremely well, again super used to us. And I have put plastic on that panel and inside the double door in there, just so they can have a safe spot there, away from wind and more weather, all that stuff, as well as for the quails as well. But yeah, they're doing super great, and I'm loving watching them. And Gumby's back in the aviary. He is doing so well. He's loving to chat away, and he's loving his new girls, like Ola over there. Gumby absolutely loves her. But that's going to be it for today, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. The lovebirds are so amazing to watch, and beautiful noises. I absolutely love them. They look so natural in the aviary here. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.